Uh, I suppose listen, we'll go back to the start, I suppose in the first half first of all and you know at half time I would have been not, not best pleased really with the level of intensity we brought to the game or you know even picking up breaking ball, use of the ball, you know we just weren't on the money at that stage you know um, and to be fair I would have been a bit concerned you know because you know give it 15-20 minutes you expect yourself to hit a rhythm. But to, you know, at that stage, Clare were after bouncing back at three points just before the break to bring it to 15 all. I mean, we got we got to 15, 12 up. We should have pushed on a bit more at that stage ourselves, and it was the other way around. We went so at half time, I would have been a bit concerned about that. But we said, listen, first game back, and maybe we just need to give it a little bit more time to see if we can get up to the, the rhythm of it. And uh, we went out and we, we addressed those concerns that we had at half time. So. Uh, you know, we got the first like five scores at, at, after the break, and that you know gave us a good platform. And you know, our, our hurling was a lot crisper and sharper at that stage. Our support runners were coming, and we were putting ball through the hand very crisply, and we were finding our men in the forwards with the ball in, in a bit of space. And um, our accuracy was quite good in the second half. I have to say that. And the boys off the bench made a very good impact as well. Uh, all all five of them, well, all four up front, we'll say, and uh, Jerome just got on late doors. But the you know, boys up front definitely made a very strong impact on the game when they came on and uh, stretched the game a bit for them. John, is that uh, lack of intensity you talk about at the start, is that a challenge without crowds that it's it's hard to get the players into that mindset? That I, they I need? don't know. Uh, trends will emerge uh, maybe after a few weeks, we'll see what's happening. But you know, last night's game was a bit open as well and probably mm. high scoring today, open and high scoring. Um, I think the puck outs are an issue because they're coming very fast and maybe in a, in a stadium where the, where the thing is full you know maybe the referees need to buy themselves a little bit more time in that circumstance themselves before they blow the whistle whereas here uh, you know they can scan and see take everything in much easier as a referee so as a result I think the puck out comes faster mm. so now I know he blew clear up for quick puck outs at some stage but they, they were very very quick so he had plenty of whistle blown so I just think we're going to end up with the ball in play a lot longer during the course of the game and an awful lot quicker put, uh, resets uh, that's one thing I, I think we're going to see so maybe another couple of games will, will give us a bit of a trend as to what might be there but if you look at all the other sports soccer in particular I think that the scoring has gone up in, in those sports as well in terms of the amount of scores being converted so maybe that's going to be a trend in hurling that you'll see more scores converted as well Maybe there's less pressure on the player in an environment like it is here with, with nobody here. You must be delighted, John, but where your scores came from 12 points from your half forward line, your inside line as well. You know, you weren't depending on one or two players. They were really depending on Tony Kelly, but she had me all over the pitch who were able to score and work hard. And even when Claire got the goal, you just were able to respond. Those lads responded to you. You yeah, should no, be delighted with that. This is the, the, the farmers worked very hard in the second half. You know, much much harder than they did in the first. And even though they had 15 points in, scored in the first half, you know, it, it wasn't reflective of our work rate. And the second half was far more reflective of our work rate in that part of the game. Um, but yes, happy that there was a nice spread of scores on on, on, the, on the day. But very aware of the fact that you know next week we're going to have to up our game significantly again. You know, we've got uh, the All Ireland champions. So. You know, we're going to have a big, big challenge to, to get ready for that now and a quick turnaround as well in seven days. So, listen, I'm glad we've got the game under our belt. You know, we have a, a, an idea of where we need to go in terms of things we need to work on, and we'll have to go and get our shoulders to wheel on that now over the next seven days. It's taken a long job, it's taken a lot, John, to get to this point and have a championship like this. Clearly, with no crowds today and just everything's happened, is it clearly worth it? Uh, uh, listen, I'll be honest with you, the buzz was there this morning. You know, but was there, Buzz was there all week. Like you know, we could all feel it. Probably more so today than ever because we realised, you know, how privileged we are to have an opportunity to play. And yeah, Jesus, everything was as normal. Apart from the fact there's nobody here, you know, everything else was as normal. You know, in terms of the nerves, you know, the excitement, the uh, the unknown, maybe you know, the anticipation of what might be the unknown that you might not have thought of or that might just happen, and you know. I think the players will still be much more satisfied as 
the individuals on both cases, I would imagine, that at least they got to play their game today. And I'm sure an awful lot of people at home got a lot of enjoyment out of still being able to sit down on a Sunday afternoon and watch a championship match. Um, especially the older people, I think, in the population. They, they will take great solace from the fact of being able to sit down and watch their team play and watch all the other teams play, you know. It's, uh, I know from my own parents, they'll be welded every Sunday, every Saturday to all the matches that'll be going on and I'm sure that'll be the case in many of the households over the country. So, yeah, it's, of course, it's worth it. It's absolutely worth it. Uh, unfortunately, it has to be the way it is. Who knows, maybe in December, things might be a bit better. We've seen a big improvement this week in, in the last few days in the reproductive rate. You know, the hospitalizations down last night, you know, intensive care, slight drop, but at least not an increase. So there's lots of factors that are suddenly beginning to turn in all our favor. And hopefully in two or three weeks time, we'll be in a much better place again. And who knows what will happen in December. So we'll, we'll just keep plowing on. Stay positive, stay positive. Is that testament to the work you did back in, in the spring? It is, yeah. Well, maybe even maybe even a bit further back, maybe to November, and it's nearly 12 months ago. Um, you know, we were back mid-November and we worked very, very hard pre Christmas and got a good start in the league then subsequently. And um, yeah, we had a very good, strong January, February into early March. And uh, you know, I am I am glad that we actually saw out the, the, the deal and, and you know took took that league title. You know, we spent nine years in one B languishing and you know, blaming everything and anything bar the fact that we just couldn't get out of there. And you know, we've always put a lot of state on that league since we came together as a group and for us to win back to back titles is a significant achievement, uh, nonetheless. Uh, regardless of the manner on which we finished. It's still it's still going to be twenty nineteen, twenty twenty and that's all that really matters. You mentioned no crowd. Did you miss it on the sideline? Uh, you do, to a point. Being honest, you, then, then when the crowd is there, sometimes you don't know they're there at all because you're just so engrossed in the game. So there's, there's far and against. I think it, listen, the crowd adds to the occasion without a shadow of it. You know? and, and from the minute you arrive at the stadium, you know things are different. You know things are different. Listen, it is what it is. We just have to accept it and move on. Okay. Thanks, Thanks Jack. Thanks. <laughs>